What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. Ever lost your phone or your keys or something like your TV remote? Look, we've all been there, but now imagine losing track of products. Not fun at all, but that's why here at Stealthy Wood, we rely a lot on lot numbers and serial numbers to keep everything traceable. So let's start off with lots. A lot is a group of identical items, often received or produced under the same conditions or date. Think of something like a batch of coffee beans roasted on the same day or a shipment of identical office chairs arriving from a supplier. Each lot gets a unique number, making it easy to track all items within that group. That ensures a quick and accurate response to recalls, quality issues, or even inventory questions because every product within that same lot can be readily pinpointed by that shared lot number. Now, on the other hand, let's talk serial numbers. Unlike lots, serial numbers is unique to a single product, even if they are the same model or type. It's very similar to a car's VIN number or an iPhone's ID number. This level of traceability is essential for items that require personalized records, such as maintenance or repair history, warranty status, or something to even use Find My iPhone. So what's the key difference? Lots are best used for bulk items, especially where issues like recalls or quality defects affect an entire batch. So for example, flour or cosmetic products. Serial numbers are ideal item level tracking and use for monitoring maintenance or ownership like smartphones, gaming consoles, or even bicycles. Well, now that we've got the basics covered, let's put this into practice. Ready to dive into our database and start tracking? Let's go. All right, I'm starting off on the main dashboard for our inventory app. From here, we're going to go to configuration at the top, then down to settings. And here, we're going to scroll all the way down to our traceability section. Now here, we just want to make sure that we have our lots and serial numbers feature enabled. Also, if we needed, we could also set expiration dates. But we've dedicated a expiration dates tutorial for all of that. All right, now let's look at our products. We've just got to click products at the top, followed by products once again. And from here, I want to track our always popular vinyl record product by lots. So I'm going to click into this product right here. And quick note, this item has to be a storable product. You can check that under the product type field area right here. Storable products are defined as goods in Odoo. Products classified as services, on the other hand, are unable to be tracked by lots, so be sure to keep that in mind. All right, next, we need to make sure that the checkbox next to track inventory is ticked. When that feature is enabled, we have three different ways we can track this product. By default, we have by quantity, and we also have by unique serial number, but in this case, we're going to use lots. Now, with our vinyl record product all set up, Let's go ahead and set up our product that's going to be tracked by serial. So we're going to go back to products by clicking this products breadcrumb. And to see how we set up tracking by serial numbers, let's select our brand new Stealthy Wood record player product. After we click into the Stealthy Wood record product form, we want to make sure that the by unique serial number field is selected. Amazing. This checks out so far. Now, let's see what it looks like when I purchase some record players from a vendor and add some serial numbers when adding them to my stock. Okay, today I'm expecting the vinyl records as well as vinyl players that we ordered. So I'm just going to click this one to receive button here on our receipt card. And right here, I can see our PO from Vivid Vinyls. So when we click into it, you may notice that this receipt has a total of 20 vinyl records coming in as well as two Stealthy Wood record players. So in real life, I'll confirm that everything is here and then just click validate on this receipt. Oh no, an invalid operation. Okay, so this is saying that we forgot to record the lot or serial numbers for our items in this order. So we're just gonna close this out. And first let's handle the vinyl records, which are tracked by lots. So to do that, I need to click into this additional details button or hamburger icon right next to quantity. And let's say, for example, if all 20 vinyl records were a part of the same lot, I could simply add the single lot to this lot or serial number field here on the left, just like so. But it looks like Vivid Vinyl sent me 10 vinyls from lot S1 and another 10 from lot S2. So how do I know that? Well, it's written right there on the package, which I absolutely have in my hands right now. 
seeing I'm definitely in a real warehouse as well and not my studio. But we'll go ahead and type S1 in the first field and update the quantity on that line to 10. Then I'll click add a line, type S2, and then put the other 10 in the quantity column. Then I'll click save to close this out. And next we have to add our serial numbers to our Stealthy Wood record players by clicking the hamburger icon next to quantity, but this time on the record player line. Okay, so with Odoo, there are three different ways we can assign serial numbers. First, we could click add a line, and you could do this manually, add in any numbers you'd like. Second, if you have a list of serial numbers that you want to copy or paste in here, you can always click import serials slash lots and paste them directly into that field. And third, if you want them in sequence, you can click generate serial slash lots. And when you click into that, you can go ahead and tell Odoo what type of formatting to use for these serial numbers. So for example, we could put SN17 here and we need two serial numbers for this. So when that looks all good, all we have to do is click generate. And it starts with serial number 17 and then gives us another one of 18 since we asked for two serial numbers. Look how cool that is. So once we're ready to move on, we can just click save. And then we'll click validate to validate the shipment. Great. Now when I click into the traceability smart button here at the top, I have a complete record or traceability report with all the lots and serial numbers as well as the quantities they came with. Now that we've received our items and tracked them by lots and serial numbers, let's see how the process works when we actually sell them. So to do that, we're going to go to the sales application. And we'll click new in the upper left hand corner to create a new quotation. Then we'll add our customer, let's say Abigail Peterson. And we're going to add five of our final records. And we'll just add one of our stealthy wood record players. Then we could go ahead and click confirm. And then when we click into this delivery smart button here at the top to check out the delivery order of this sale, all we have to do is click validate to process the delivered quantities. Now, when we click the traceability smart button here at the top, this is exactly what we want to see. Here, once we click into that smart button, we can see that we sold five from lot S1, and it looks like we sold one of our Stealthy Wood record players from SN99, which is that specific serial number. These items are now shipped out to our customer, Abigail Peterson. Perfect. Now that's one way we can view traceability in Odoo, but we can also check out our handy dandy traceability reports. So let's take a look at those now. So we'll get out of here and just click into our inventory application. And from here, all we have to do is click on products down to lots slash serial numbers. Now, this page is a high level overview of all the lots and serial numbers related to my products. And if I click into one, for example, our Stealthy Wood record player, I can see smart buttons at the top and it shows me everything from location, traceability, any purchases, or even sales that are associated with this individual product. Now let's go ahead and click this traceability smart button to take a look at where this product is right now. Oh no. Starting from the bottom line, we can see that we received it from a vendor, then we brought it into our stock and sold it to our customer. But on April 7th, it looks like our customers returned this product and it's back in our stock. But why? And that's it for this video. Now you know how to manage lots and serial numbers like a true inventory master. If you'll excuse me, I need to head over to the loading docks and make sure there isn't any damage on that returned product and see if we can sell it again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more inventory tips. See you later.